Hey everybody, in this episode, we are going to make a snowflake uh, for 3D printing using Autodesk Inventor. So you can really just go to Google and grab a snowflake clip art. Um, if you want to go black and white, you can. You can use kind of any one of these. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the image. So I'm going to pick this one right here and I'm going to right click on it and go to save image as, which It is right there. I'm going to just easily save it to my desktop. And I'm going to open up Autodesk Inventor and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to go standard inches and create. One of the things we haven't done in my class is bring in an image. So we're going to start by doing that. So let's grab a sketch a 2D Start a 2D sketch, and I'm going to pick this XZ plane right there. And I'm going to grab an image and, of course, go back to my desktop and find that snowflake that we just did right there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, if you want to, you can try and try and like center it on there if you can. And I'm going to escape this. All right, looks like I accidentally cut off. Maybe you might want to use a better picture. But um, a couple things that you'll do is you'll use a line tool so you can kind of zoom in and just kind of play connect the dots. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split the middle here. Oh, shoot, I totally missed. Escape, control Z. All right, so I'm going to grab a line tool. I'm going to go, I'm going to split the middle horizontally and then I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm going to split the middle. Why is that not grabbing the line? Grab the line here. And I'm going to grab the line here. Hit escape. All right. Now I'm going to move that and center it as best I can right through the middle. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's another way to center your image. Now I'm going to grab the line tool and I'm going to trace all of these lines. Um, if you have curved lines, of course, you can use the spline tool. I suggest uh, creating points and then using the spline tool, uh, you could also, you know, really easily use circles and arches depending on what your uh, snowflake looks like. So I'm going around and just totally tracing. And now this is where I'm going to come back, make sure I've connected the dots. Uh, I need to kind of create this. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to create a line and go like straight up there. So I've done like one quarter of the work. Let's grab that trim tool. I'm going to cut that left side, that bottom side. I'm going to cut that off right there. And I guess you don't really need to do all that. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish that sketch. And then I'm going to extrude this part that I just made. But somehow there's something missing. Oh no. So I need to get back into the sketch. If you've ever saved your work from the day before and you're like, hey, I don't want to start over. All you have to do is right click on that sketch and go to edit sketch. And if this ever happens, one thing you're going to want to do and a quick trick is to extend, use this extend tool. Um, what that can do is that can kind of play like connect the dots. And then uh, that might mean you've missed some kind of connection somewhere. So um, sometimes you can visually find where the gap is. So all right. Going around. Oh, there's no line right there. Holy moly. All right, grab a line. Boom, connect the dots. Okay, let's try this again. Sketch, extrude, boom, let's make this 
0.1. Okay. Not so pretty, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the mirror tool. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to use the uh, mirror plane and let's flip it on that. There we go. We've got half of our snowflake. Let's use the mirror tool again. I'm going to click this and I want to click this one and we're going to do a mirror tool there. I'm going to go on there. I'm going to hit OK. And now we've got our pretty little snowflake. Um, what you can do now is you can poke a hole in it somewhere so that you can hang the ornament. So I'm going to just start a sketch right here. Make sure you project geometry, grab a circle. I'm going to put it like right here, maybe. And let's make sure that circle is... 25. Holy cow, it jumped on me. Actually, here's what I want to do. I'm going to spin that around so that I have a line to put it on. Let's grab a circle, put it right on that line. Then you can easily dimension from there. I'm going to, I'm going to keep that, lock that in there at 3.1. Then I'm going to make sure the size, I'm going to just go 0.3, that looks good. Extrude that, go the opposite direction, and then go through, uh, go through all, and there we go. Make sure you save your work to your Google Drive, and if you are getting ready to 3D print, don't forget to follow the directions to file save as, save copy as, and make sure that your part is an STL file, which is found right about there. All right. Thanks so much for watching and have a good rest of the day.